Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, I got a request a couple times to retest um, IOBIT uh, 360 security and I went and grabbed their newest one and that's version 1.0.2.10 and uh, decided uh, I'm going to give it a little test here. I got uh, about 13 or 14 pieces of malware here and I know some of them are pretty bad, that, uh, bad enough that when I install them, um, it would corrupt the system. It would completely kill the virtual machine. So there's definitely, some of these are definitely pretty bad. So let's, uh, let's do an update here. Okay, so what I did is, um, I did have a uh, pro, uh, Security 6, 360 Pro code, so I installed that, and I let the update finish here. As you see, it's brand new. Uh, I will turn everything I can on. Make sure everything's like it should be. Okay, everything's good. It's updated, so let's give it a test here. See how it does. These are all fairly new pieces of malware within the last, I don't know, 24 to 48 hours. Okay, I don't see anything from that one. Okay, it looks like that one fails, like it always does. <clears throat> Nothing on that one. I'm only going to test 10 of these. I'm not going to test all of them. Okay, that one's dead. Six, whatever this crap is. Seven. Eight. Two more. I don't know if some of these didn't work, so. Okay, yeah, I don't think that one wants to work either. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, okay, whatever that's about. And as you can see, it killed my system here. So I'm gonna let it restart here, and see if we can get back into Windows. I told you I got some, some nasty stuffs. So I'm going to pause it here while it, re while it restarts. Okay, so um, it didn't offer any security because the computer is stuck in a restart loop. It gets to the desktop and um, a driver fails and it restarts and it fails and it restarts and it fails and it restarts. So, and I don't think I can get into um, into safe mode either. Because the last time I tried to get into safe mode, it, uh, come on now. Um, it, uh, 
it just restarts when you try to go in a safe mode so there's it just keeps going and cr it fails as you can I, I don't know if this time it'll work but as you saw um, say it just does this constantly and if you go into start windows normally it tries to load to the desktop I'll show you and like 10 seconds after it you get a driver failure or something and it restarts again you, you don't never even get a chance to run any software so the only way to really clean the system would be to use uh, a bootable USB or um, what else um, a bootable CD I mean something that you can boot from because the system right now is so unstable that um, it just screws itself up you'll watch I can't even get far into it before it fails See? and this is what you get so what I'm gonna do now to try to clean the system up I'm actually gonna use Sardu the one that I used in my other videos so let me get that set up and I'll see you in a second okay so welcome back um, what I had to do is I I uh, booted from um, Sardu and uh, ran a scan with the Vera antivirus to get rid of some of the stuff hopefully enough so where it doesn't corrupt itself and now I uh, it only got rid of about seven things so as you know as you see I installed like 14 things on here but a lot of them are uh, fairly new but hopefully this will be enough to where I can run iobit and run a scan without it corrupting itself and if this can't do it nothing will and there you go as you can see okay so I'm gonna try a different um, a different program to see if I can get this to clean up enough I will be back again okay so here I am in uh, the bootable Kaspersky rescue CD and I told you guys that I I did do a full scan with a Vera fully updated as you can see it did miss stuff uh, did uh, as you can see we are finding some stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply to all and I'm gonna delete whatever it finds so hopefully as you can see it's found three so far we'll keep an eye on here and I'll see you guys uh, when this is all done okay so Kaspersky here just finished scanning as you can see I think this is where the problem was this driver from the virtual machine got infected by a rootkit ooh fun and but it did disinfect it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna restart the machine and if it starts up and doesn't crash anymore I'm going to do a full system scan with iobit360 and I'll be back to show you uh, what it finds. If it keeps crashing, I'll show you that it keeps crashing and I'll call this review over. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I just finished a scan here with uh, iobit security and it did find some stuff that it, uh, were left over even though I did a boot time or a, a bootable scan. So we will remove these. and we'll finish that and I'll do another scan here with it so as you can see um, the protection offered right now in version 1.02 of iobit security 360 is non-existent that's probably because from what I remember from what I read is uh, that they're having a problem with their real-time protection uh, the removal as you see it did find some stuff I couldn't get enough into it to see if it would find everything uh, so that's why I had to use the Sardu bootable um, bootable pack and I had to use two uh, antivirus solutions because the Vera didn't fix it and I, so I had to use Kaspersky but um, that's what it is for now and uh, hopefully when they fix whatever's going on with their uh, their thing uh, iobit might work better so I'm gonna pause it right now and I'll be back when this is done to show you that it doesn't find anything else here you go this is the last of the scan and you see it didn't find anything else so I'll let this go for now and I'll talk to everybody later see ya